welcome to Proclaim, a presentation of the Catholic Diocese of Alexandria. Join us as we journey together through the scriptures revealed to us by God. Good morning and welcome to Proclaim. And now that Joseph has been reassured by the message of an angel that not only is he not interfering with God's plan by taking Mary as his wife, which perhaps was one of his concerns, and he's told very clearly that it's not through infidelity that she's carrying a child, but by the power of God, the power of the Spirit. And so Joseph, as we see very often in these early chapters, takes Mary into his home as his wife. And the reason that's so significant for Matthew as he's writing for a Jewish Christian audience is because that made Jesus, after his birth, the legal descendant of Joseph, even though he was not literally Joseph's child in the biological sense. And so we're told that that's what Joseph did. And it's interesting that, uh, once again, after Joseph is reassured that it is the plan of God that he is now a part of. And as Matthew has done before, he looks back into the ancient scriptures. He's told that she will be with child and he will name him Jesus. Again, it was going to be Joseph's prerogative to name the child, which again emphasizes his legal rights as the foster father of Jesus. He says that the Lord said through the prophet, behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son and they shall name him Emmanuel. That's a very interesting way in which that passage from Isaiah is translated. This program was brought to you by Christus Cabrini Hospitals.